Five Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. Jeff, I mean, just would just kind of take you us through your thoughts on that again. Uh, Jeff, what's your thoughts on tonight? Yeah, I think uh, I think we came out pretty strong. I think uh, you know we had the early rhythm that we wanted. Um, you know, got the lead, and, and you know, obviously that's that was an ideal start for us. I think um, you know, and credit to Sheffield, they're a good squad, and, and you know they've got a lot of uh, a lot of depth. And I think as the game went on, I think. Um, you know, they started to, to kind of apply the pressure and, and we had a little bit of trouble exiting the zone. Um, you know, then obviously the injuries uh, um, to a couple of guys disrupted disrupted the flow for us. And um, I, I genuinely don't think that we re recovered from that uh, the rest of the way. And I think, um, you know, we ran into penalty trouble and, you know, I think uh, that took a little bit of our momentum away. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's something that we got to work on. We can't get frustrated by 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 the refereeing, and um, you know we just have to kind of plow on and, and and try to try to put the noise away and uh, and move move forward. But and the guys maybe look a bit you know leggy in that third period, given the, a couple of intense games this weekend. Yeah, um, I think you know um, um, Chris Lawrence getting hurt. Um, you know that's a big hole in the in the middle of the uh, in the middle of ice for us. You know, he's been fantastic on the draws um, this year. Um, you know, it looks like we're going to lose him for the rest of the season, um, which is not uh, not ideal. Um, you know, he's got a he's got a broken ankle. So, um, so was that just a result? Was that was that that hit in the first period? Yeah, yeah. So you know, he's come back from the hospital, and the news isn't good. So, you know, it's going to be a big hole for us to fill the rest of the way. Um, you know, it's unfortunate. He was you know he was coming around and and was a good uh, bright spot for us. Um, you know, a good addition for us, and uh, you know, both on on and off the ice. Um, so yeah, that that's that's some sad news uh, tonight, but um, gives another opportunity for other guys to step up, for our young British guys to come, you know, you know, um, come in and, and play a bigger role for us and um, the rest of the way. Uh, I mean, you know, we've got ten games to go. Um, and, you know, looking at the fixtures when we play, you know, every game is in you know, teams that are currently in the bottom half of the table. So, you know, plenty of opportunity to pick up points on the way. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's there's a positive vibe still around the room. I think you know, obviously, you're playing the tonight. We're playing a team that uh, you know is desperate in their own right for you know for the for the title, and um, you know they turned it up a notch. And I just don't think we had enough to, to kind of you know follow them tonight and. Uh, these things happen, uh, but it's been a, it, you know, it's, I can't emphasize enough. It's been a, a positive month and a half in terms of, in terms of how we're playing. Um, we just need to keep, you know, focusing and, 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 you know, I think we owe our fans to kind of, um, you know, whatever the result at the end of the season, as long as we've, you know, uh, put in an honest effort and push forward for the rest of the season, I think that's all they can ask at this stage. The Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.